Hi Capricorn. Hey guys. How are you doing? Oh, you know, every time I try to be like, you know, smooth, got it going on, it just falls apart. It's just like I'm but so Capricorn, uh, you ready for your reading? Let's get started. So blind spot, uh, it is blind spot week. I don't know. It's just interesting messages. I want to say it's just interesting messages. There should just always be interesting messages. Oh, look, your cards are already coming out, Capricorn. Oh, oh, dang. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Okay, so you have she who knows, which is actually the cover. Who had this? Oh, Aquarius. Isn't that interesting? Aquarius had this card, and they were the they're the first sign that I do in the week. They had this card. And now you have this card and you're the last one of the week. We're starting the week and ending the week with her. She's the cover of the book. She who knows. Look at that stare. It's like she knows what you did. Or you know what they did. Oh, oh I don't know. Yeah. It's two came out. So that's wisdom, clarity, resolution. And I and I, she who knows, right? So it's which is the namesake for the deck, El Key. She who and it is she who knows. Um it's like you you understand something now, you see it clearly. <clears throat> this wisdom, this clarity, this resolution, and you just you can't not just stare at them to let them know. No words need to be said, I know. And then we have she who avenges, nemesis, revenge, outcomes, and justice. Dang. I don't know who's in your crosshairs, but I'm glad. I, I really, I hope none of the Capricorns I know. Oh my goodness, look at, she's got a plan. Oh yeah, she's been formulating that, but you've been formulating this plan? And it's like the plan is complete. She's having a little a little nip of something here to drink. Almost like a little celebration with self regarding this plan. There's your two energies coming. Oh, it's intense. Oh, come on. Someone was trying to know your ice castle last week. Maybe this is for different Capricorn. Or it could be a different situation. Someone can still be melting your ice castle. Um, but this person, yeah, you don't want them melting nothing. <laughs> You're going to be taking the fire to them. What's underneath? Jeez. <laughs> She's got just a look, too. She who waits. Oh, it's like you're luring them. Patience, waiting, determination. Oh, my goodness. Where's this going? What a way to end the week. Okay, now look at look at her face. <laughs> the facial expressions are getting me. You know, look at how she's holding this beautiful glowing butterfly. It's like it's a little lure. You know, it's in the dark. It's this glowing little white butterfly. They're gonna come and they're gonna come to it. I'm trying to remember which sign they're reading this week. Was it Virgo about the God, the fairy godmother and being able to identify, you know, when someone has a, a healthy offer and someone has a tainted entrapment offer. <laughs> Maybe that's Capricorn, I don't know. But you're definitely planning something here. Because you know, you know unequivocally that this has happened or this is the truth. And it somehow has, jeez, look on every one of these faces. It's like someone has betrayed you. That's what it feels like. It's like someone has betrayed you. I can't, I gotta hold all three of these up. I might have to turn them over. Like it's very distracting the way you're staring me down Capricorn. This is something, huh? This is some energy. All of these stairs. Oh, can we cover that eye? It's important that all the eyes are looking. That's like 
probably one of the most intense all week that we've had come out of there. Like just this real knowing. And you're patient as hell. Like that's the underlying. Patience, waiting, determination. You've just set your little trap. You know. You know. Yeah. Okay, let's see what comes out with the Water Unknown Animal Spirit deck. I keep splitting it and the tarantula is in the split every time. Finally went away. It was replaced by the nightingale. All right. What's going on here with Capricorn? What's going on here with Capricorn? This wants to come out. Oh. Oh, you have a poker face? Oh, are you doing a poker face too while you lure them in? It's almost as if once they get close enough and they're in your trap, oh, yes. Then the poker face is gone. Then the poker face is gone. So two cards came out. The first one was starfish. And this right away, you know, for me, this starfish is it's so different on the inside from how it is um, projecting on the outside. And the, with the, the energy of these, um, these lovely ladies in your, your Elki deck, uh, I just feel like it is a poker face. They don't know. Whatever this is, they don't know that you know. They don't know that you know. And you are keeping it that way. You are really like, this is this is really good. This, these are the kind of qualities I kind of wish. I, not, I don't know. Just being in Aries, I just feel like I'm just out there. Like everything is just out in the open. I'm not good at some poker face. There are some, I, there are some people telling me I had a poker face. That's what I'm like, okay, well, I guess it depending on what it is, maybe. But anyways, you're, this is an interesting, like, I'm not really good at making a long-term plan. I'm like, just, just go and do it today. Let's go have fun and see what happens. No, you're not. You're not leaving anything to chance here, Capricorn. Yeah, like someone like, um, it's just a fun and go lucky Aries would be like right into your trap. Like, they're going right into it. Yeah. The crow. Yeah, you're using your intuition, like, oh, almost very divinely. Seems weird to say, you know, especially with revenge outcomes and justice, but it feels a little bit like divine is on your side here. Whatever this is. If it wasn't for the, um, for the revenge card, and it could also be, I'm getting that now, this is an interesting message, because I started kind of getting the second message about how resolute, you know, these two are. The underlying and the first, I want to say this, the first one that came out. This here, it's just something that you want. You know how much you want. Nothing is changing your course. If there was ever a second guess, it's gone. That second guess is gone. It's out the window. It's in the trash. It's in the recycling bin. It's down the compactor. It's gone. You know. You are prepared to be so patient for, like, you will lie and wait for days, weeks, months, you know, with, with your little lure. That's patience. But it's this one. It's this one. But I don't know. It's this revenge one. Avenges. She who avenges. Part of me feels a little bit like it's avenging the order of things. You know, how something didn't work out or how it should have worked out. But maybe the way it didn't work out at the time, you weren't so adamant, so knowing about the course you wanted this to go. Now, yeah, it's, it, nothing is stopped. Like you are almost revenging the universe, but yet the universe is working with you. I don't know what you're doing. It's pretty interesting energy. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> 
because something may have been played out unfavorable unfavorably for you and that energy does need to be corrected with the yin and the yang it does need to be corrected the universe is definitely on your side here with what you plan to get or do or <laughs> in trap definitely like you and the universe have a little plan here and the universe said you know yeah we know we know this yeah we know <laughs> So, yeah, with this, you're poker facing it really good. You really are. You're poker facing it like nobody's business, I feel, with this star card. And you're also putting yourself out there. You are putting yourself out there a little bit with the trap, with the, with the lure. With the lure. But I really get this crow right now. The crow to me is usually, you know, being able to manipulate your intuition, your third eye activation, really go within and kind of see things for what they are without actually looking at them visually, like just, you know. Yeah, like sometimes that'll happen to me where I'll be sound asleep and then I'll wake up at 3 a.m. and I'll have like this eureka moment. <laughs> Like, why does it have to happen now? Why? Why? Why can't it happen at like 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. or 7 p.m.? But it is a little bit like some sort of a eureka moment for you. It's just this clarity coming through. Hopefully not like it does for me at 3 a.m. Like it wakes you up going, oh, I know what I need to do. But you and the universe are harnessing this eureka, this eureka energy. It's like, yeah, it's eureka energy. Now the underlying, this is why I'm st still not sure about <laughs> you guys, scorpion, this scorpion energy. This is the underlying here. This is fiery and it's hot. This stinger is out. So yes, for some of you, I feel like um, you can't deny the cards that have come out. huh? You can't like, you can't deny them. There's definitely some sort of Let's just say Avenger energy. I don't like the word revenge because revenge is a direct intention of something negative towards someone else because you feel that that's what's deserving. Well, it's not really our choice to make our, it's not really, I guess, our calling in life to make choices like that against people. I know our systems don't work like that. But I can't, let's not even get in there. The world is too complicated for me. Obviously the courts and stuff, you know, they work like that. Um, yeah, and yeah, that does need to happen too. <laughs> so yeah, something's happening here. Somebody deserves getting stung. Let's just say it. Someone deserves getting your stinger. That's what the universe is saying. Someone deserves it. Someone deserves it. I don't know if you should actively be, um, you know, pushing the button on the electric chair. The universe might do that for you. I think it's probably better if you let the universe do that for you. Because you don't want to bring any negative karma towards yourself. But there's something else about this stinger. There is still something, though. It's like two stories here. I don't think I've had this all week. I think it's been pretty direct. But yours is a little different, depending on who's coming in here, right? Like some people are going to say, yeah, it's definitely somebody deserves my stinger. And other people, I feel it's going to be that, yeah, there was something that was kind of meant for you. And it, it bypassed you. And the universe is helping you to correct the energy to bring it around again. And you're sitting, you're determined, you're waiting, you're patient. You have wisdom, clarity, you're resolute now. You knew, you knew so much more now than you did then. And as I said, nothing is changing your path. You know you want this. And the universe wants to give it to you. But this scorpion card in that sense Oh, okay. Sometimes I just need to be quiet. <laughs> Sometimes I need to be quiet for a minute just to hear. Okay. Now I understand. Because you're so determined about this, you, you're being patient, you, you know so much, that's almost like what the universe was waiting to hear from you. That there's nothing wavering, you know. 
you finally know that this is what you want. It's where you want to go. It's going to happen. And this energy, because it's underlying, for those of you, it's not some sort of someone deserves your stinger message. It is um, the universe correcting because you may actually, at some point, your patience may waver and you may take some sort of um, action towards claiming this or getting it but the universe is saying we don't because it could turn into into this energy because it's underlying it's really close to the surface because you've waited so long because this feels like something that you know so much that you want but yeah the universe is just saying yeah yeah we're in here where the universe is coming in we're gonna it's good it's good we don't want it to go to this because this is something meant for you. Like, you know it. Gosh, these cards are very intense. I'm intense, Capricorn. We haven't even gone into the fairies yet. It's my last reading for the week. I've done a lot. Well, it's not my last. I still have... I have four... Four privates today and four tomorrow. But then it's March break and I'm not doing anything for a week. Well, except for being a mom and a puppy owner and a doggy dog owner and a daughter because we're going up to my folks. We just saw when I was dropping my son off to school today, a huge flock of, well not huge, yeah it wasn't huge, <laughs> exaggeration. There was a couple of flocks, or two, there was two flocks and then some stragglers of swans flew right over. It was so beautiful and they were honking. I was like, wow, it's spring. Everything's coming back to Canada. It was beautiful. And my folks live on the river, on a river. And yeah, it's really gorgeous. Like they get the swans. They get all sorts of different ducks. They have bald eagles there, the loons. It's quite beautiful. So kind of excited to see maybe that's where they're going. They're going up there now. I have a few more days to go before I go. But before we go, yeah. So that's where I'm going. I don't think I'm bringing any cards. I'm not doing anything. Oh, for God's sakes, why would you shuffle? The fairies have been giving me, this fairy deck has been very stubborn. Kind of like your energy right now, isn't it? It's like, no, we know what we want, we want it. One more, can we get one more shuffle fairies? Thank you. All right, last card from the fairies for Capricorn. Oh, so many. But it's a story. I've explained this, but when I get so many, particularly like with something like the fairy deck, you know, the card has a meaning on its own, but then when you mix it in with a whole bunch of others, it's like forming a sentence that changes the meaning. The sage. Oh yeah. I really, you know what I'm getting with that? I'm getting this. It's like this, it's the combination of these two energies. It's like knowing, like observing, understanding, clarity. And then it's the intuition just cracking in like crazy. And that's what he's doing because one eye is, um, is he's blind in one eye because that eye sees what the, what you can't, you know, the things that aren't there to be physically seen. So the sage, the loan. Oh, Epona's wild daughter. She's been around a lot this week. I like her. I feel like she helps people purge that list, last little bit of purge or pain or um, sorrow or disappointment. And she's there. She's got your back for that. And then the RAR. That's a fun energy coming in. It's kind of mystical and magical and ticklish. It feels very ticklish. Oh gosh, what does that say? Half the hooter. Hoof the halfer? <laughs> no. Oh, this cursive is so fancy. I cannot tell if it's an F, an H, and a T, and an L. I don't know what it is. I think it's half the hooter. <laughs> Something like that. Or flaff the hooter? I don't know. <laughs> is it worth? I'm going by the images. 
Oh, and then the Bright Mother. Such a beautiful card. This is like Empress energy to me. So beautiful, abundant, sensual, sexy, nurturing, loving, caring, brilliant. It's, uh, it's nice energy. Kind of feels like that's where you're going. Oh, yeah. I never noticed she's holding this little crystal ball with this cute little baby fairy on the crystal ball. She's a cute little baby fairy on the crystal ball. Like a new beginning here. The Empress has hatched something out for you. But yeah, and you knew it. You were watching. You were just determined. Okay, so I want to say with the fairy cards, if the story was resonating for you, that it was some sort of... Um, justice revenge that is kind of deserving to someone the universe is working on that it's not that's not coming through in um the fairy cards at all what's coming through with these fairy cards is a really beautiful story here it's peace it's love it's um stability it's wish fulfillment and it's almost like wish fulfillment having done the work. There was no shortcut here. I kind of like that because Sagittarius was about trying to take a shortcut to something. And the universe trying to divert them because they can't get to that destination. It might look like it's a clear path, right? It looks like a clear path. But the journey of getting there is actually who you become to be at the destination, who you're meant to be at that destination. So they can't. And I feel like with this, this is just a really beautiful energy, Capricorn, of having invested in yourself, invested in knowing when it was time to just release that energy, but then accept it again release it, accept it. It's almost just like you're allowing the flow here. And there, there was one little, I feel like you're very close to this bright mother energy, the bright mother, which feels like the, the end of the story. I don't mean like the end of your story, the end of this story anyways, for what this reading is about. This is where you're going. It's really like a very nurturing, I want to say organic. It's very organic. It's like, it's almost like um, Eden kind of feeling. It, it really is a very almost Eden-like feeling where where passion and love all of this coexists and there's no preconceived expectations or or ideas about it it's just it just is what it is and it's really beautiful and it creates life it creates new opportunity it creates abundance but but, but because you did the work you went you didn't take the shortcut. It was tempting. A couple times you may have tried. We all do. But then, you know, when you met that roadblock, it was like, no. And that's where that give and take of the energy is. This is not, no. And, you know, you pulled away from it. And now you're going. You're, 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 you have clarity on it. You're determined. You're patient. You're waiting. You've put in the work. You really have put in the work here. Let's see what the tarot says. I almost don't want to. I just, it's really beautiful, the energy that came out with these fairy cards. It's kind of ticklish. It's a ticklish, fun energy. On its way to something very, very beautiful. is the bright mother because that's that's where you're going it's a it's pretty nice 
It's this empress energy. It's It could be like an empress person to you. Someone that you find very beautiful, very expansive, very nurturing, very sexy, very dynamic, very grounded, very... Um, it's like all of that. It's like grounded, yet it's passion and desire and it's it's uh, it's very holistic. So let's, uh, this bright mother. Yeah, there you go, you're going. It has been a long journey, but here you are. You get the Knight of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Very beautiful energy. Really beautiful. There you go. You made it. You're on your way. Oh, I'm so excited. I just have this feeling like of... <sighs> like whatever this journey has been. Good Lord, it's been long and slow and, well, steady. But kind of in a back and forth steady, right? And now here it is. It's overflowing. Like it's just... It's like the universe is now handing it to you. Because you know when you get to that point and you've done the work, you don't have to try anymore. It's just handed to you. And then you know that you're hitting it. You're hitting that goal in the frame of mind, the mental stability, the emotional stability, the spiritual growth, whatever it is, the combination of all of them, the way you should to receive this. And with the Queen of Wands... Lots of fire. There's so much fire here. There's so much passion. So much passion. Very dynamic. What's at the bottom? Oh, yeah, I kind of feel that. I feel that with this. I wasn't going to talk about Opponent's Wild Daughter because it feels like it's mostly cleared. It feels like it's mostly, right? This is this final purge or, and you know, here it is displayed right here that Oh, gosh. <laughs> that hard energy. You know, overthinking it. Did I do the right thing? Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have turned left instead of right. Um, have I waited too long? Did I go too soon? <laughs> should I just walk away for good? Why am I being pulled in again? Like, it's just that. An opponent's wild daughter. I didn't want to say anything because I thought, no, I kind of feel like you're past that or you're very close to being past it. There's maybe one tiny, tiny little final purge here for some of you but it feels like you're really moving towards something better and yeah it was in there yeah because you know what i don't think the universe the universe doesn't want to take you there again no not not going there again for you capricorn wow that's really cool that's a great way to end it's kind of fun when you guys have those really nice messages and it ends our week like that so nicely it really does which is kind of cool because this is not how it started with her it was something very different for Aquarius. Although, what the heck was it? What was it with Aquarius? Now I can't even remember. I don't remember. There's so many of these. I can't remember. Something about a baseball game or something. I don't know. I'll have to go watch it, huh? All right. Thanks, Capricorn. Have a wonderful week. Until next time, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.